All right, I'm going to redo this feather, um, this uh, arrow. Uh, I think the stick is, is a normal size stick for a normal arrow. And I need it to be half that. And uh, I know the length is half of what a, a war arrow would be. Gloria did that. And uh, what I did was I went to the uh, hardware store and got a uh, wooden dowel that's about half the uh, thickness of this. And what I'm going to do is take the feathers, which have been cut down to half the size that they would normally be, and uh, also the half the uh, width that they would be, and I'm going to glue those to this arrow. So I need to cut this off. I've got some super bond or pro bond. And I just screwed it up. <laughs> Leave it to me. Anything I can definitely screw things up. There we go. Got one off. Smaller wooden dowel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip that into the uh, glue. I think what I'll do is let this uh, dry here, and then I'll glue that part down. All right, I put the light down so close to the clay that it literally melts the clay a little bit. And I'm doing that so that I can make little fluffs on these feathers like that. And it's got to be the right temperature, so I'm taking, not the melted, but the just next to the melted part of the clay and uh, grabbing just a little piece and putting it on the feather. It's not as easy as it looks because the clay wants to just uh, get away from the cold clay or wax or in this case paint and so what I do is I just keep pressing it until it stays and you gotta make it look like fluff ain't easy either. But if you just have patience and keep playing with it, it'll all work out in the end. Alright, I've got the uh, fluff all the way around. Now, I'm thinking I'll do the same thing to the tips of the feathers, a little fluff, not a lot, maybe rabbit fur would be attached to the uh, tip, I'm not going to do a lot, but it just continues the theme of uh, 
the uh, bottom part of the feathers. I don't think it's going to hurt the design at all. What I'm doing is I'm making this the uh, separation of each row of quill work that I'm going to put on this uh, headdress. All right, I've put the side uh, roaches on the uh, uh, either end of the uh, headband. I've got the beadwork indicated. It's more like uh, quill work. And then I put three uh, wax uh, strips that represent ribbons uh, blowing in the wind here. And then I'm going to make some uh, ermine because I did notice that he wore ermine on his, on his uh, headdress. And so I'm going to do that. I'm taking a little liberty on the uh, headdress uh, to make it more interesting. Only because uh, if you did everything exactly like life, unless you're asked to uh, for a specific reason, uh, it's probably going to be pretty in uninteresting. Now the ermine would have a leather thong in the middle of it to give it uh, so it would hang. And uh, it would have a little weight to it. So I'm going to paint these first. Again, one of the reasons why I'm using wax is because it's uh, durable. And I'm not worried about getting paint on the clay because I can always take the, the paint off the clay. down a little like that. I'm trying to keep it as close to the body as I can only because it uh, makes it easier for them to cast it. Mostly. As you can see, I've done the arrow. I've put clay onto the uh, feathers. I'm going to let it uh, set up for a little longer before I go and do anything with it. But uh, And then I put clay on the uh, shaft. And you can't see it because it's out of the picture, but there's a little arrowhead on the top that I made out of a paper cup and put onto the uh, thing. I actually split the shaft and put it on like an arrowhead. I'm just going to clean up the face a little bit. I'm not going to try to finish this piece. I'm going to leave it uh, pretty much close to being done. But final steps of cleaning it up and stuff like that will be done once I bring it back home. I just want to show them what it looks like and what it will look like and have it far enough along that they can see that. But as far as, you know, fine tuning and, and having it ready to go to the foundry, that ain't happening this week. That's going to take another two weeks or so. But I want to get it presentable at least for the gallery. This way it is. 
if you want to make something look wrapped, I found a way of doing this a long time ago. You just put it on an edge of a sharp edge of a table and you just start rolling it. And what it does, it makes it look like it's been wrapped. You just gradually draw the uh, roll up as you work on it. It takes a little practice to figure out how much pressure to put on it, but it works really well. Let's go back to the clay. All right, I just uh, put the uh, rolled clay that uh, I made into the braid, and uh, now I'm putting the tied ends on the bottom. And what I do is I put rolled clay through a pasta machine to uh, get this effect. And uh, what I'm doing is just pinching lightly and carefully so it looks like it's been tied into a knot and I'll just put that on there like that and of course this will be re reacting to the wind as well so I'll just have that part out and the other one down Just a little more eye candy. That's it. That's what I call it. Eye candy. I'm going to put a little knot in the uh, thing. And the way I do that is I just run my finger across there so it looks like it's been tied. And I just put it right there. the same thing over here all right this is uh, the clay right now I can't get the whole thing in camera I'm sorry to say but uh, it's uh, as far as I can go I let's see if I can sh get in on that arrowhead way up there there you go barely see it and I coated the feathers with clay. The stick looks a lot better than the, the, the bigger one. It just does. And uh, I'll turn it slowly show it for you so you can see it. I'll work on these areas here tomorrow, the back, finish that off. Then I gotta work on a bow scabbard too. I've got to still do that. But you see how nicely this, this all looks right here with the uh, eye candy part. Alright, that's going to be it for tonight, and I'll see you uh, guys uh, tomorrow as this continues.